All right, guys, another day, another adventure. We've got a little uh, leftover pizza after just been feasting in Domino's. So uh, we'll uh, take the rest of the pizza and uh, walk this way. This is the main street I was talking about. This is a. Uh, it's much better in the daytime because it looks like a, looks like USA. It looks like a little summer town in USA, like close to the beach. Except if there's no beach nearby. <laughs> But yeah, they have acai in it. Let's go grab some acai. So yeah, as I was saying in the last video, um, I mean, if you want to be sick, if you want to go to Paraguay, if you want to be sick, if you want to be sick mentally, physically, feel horrible and be in a prison, you know? Because Paraguay is just a prison, physically, mentally, socially, in every single way. It just makes you feel horrible. It's just one big prison. Because everyone, there's no freedom there. There's no freedom, there's no free speech. There's no, nothing freedom, it's just, it's like 1930s Germany, there's rules for everything. Um, you don't feel any freedom. And if you do say the truth, then you get beat down, you know. Everyone's killing themselves with uh, drugs and alcohol. Everyone smokes weed there and does drugs and alcohol because they can't say the truth, you know. It's the same with any place that's too fascist, you know, it's too up its own ass, you know. I mean, some third world countries like that are third world countries for a reason, because of the status quo. I mean, Paraguay's been around for ages, but it's never developed, you know, Brazil and all the other countries, they develop, you know, they follow truth. The truth is always hard, you know, you've always got to follow through truth. Um, you know, truth is always hard and once you follow through truth, once you fight, once you go through hard times, once you follow the truth through hard times, that's when you develop. The same for countries, same for humans, same for animals, same for any, everything. You know, you're not going to be happy staying in the same place, watching Netflix, eating pizza, eating fast food. Which is just the status quo of uh, Paraguay. Everyone's killing themselves and just, you know, if you stay in the same place, just doing nothing in the same limitations. Paraguay is just the most weakest limitations I've ever seen. And I hate limitations and systems and all that. This is a nice place. You can get really nice pastels here. Really, uh, like, they sell cheese pastel. It's so good to be back in Brazil. Like, even, it's weird, like, Paraguay has made me appreciate Brazil so much more. I mean, I actually feel healthy. Like, I just felt clogged up and poisonous and full of crap, you know, from the pollution in Paraguay. As soon as you enter Asuncion, it's just, you feel the pollution, you feel sick. And the juice is there, all the food, everything's just full of sugar and additives and crap. And no wonder everyone looks like zombies there. You see it in their eyes, they have like bags under their eyes. Um, like, you go in any picture on Instagram, find someone from Asuncion and they just look sick. And they're all covered, other girls are all covered in makeup. And here in Brazil, the girls that wear makeup never ever.